Hello people, I'm the Okami for Gamer. Today I'm going to be talking about Man of Steel issue number one, which is Brian Michael Bendis' new series with Superman. This is the first full issue we've gotten with him. Because we've gotten some previews before, like with DC Nation number zero, but this is the first full outing we've got. So if you don't know about Man of Steel, it is uh, the miniseries that pre that is uh, the lead up to his Superman and Action Comics run, because this is going to be, uh, I believe it's a five issue miniseries, to where each week a new issue comes out with a new artist, and then he takes over Superman with a new number one, and then Action Comics 1001, and that's when he takes over both those books. So this is a lead up to that, and he's got a new villain and everything, and so it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. I like the format of doing a one book each week. I think that's pretty cool. I did that for this and like No Justice also. And I like that because it gets like the big event stuff like done quicker instead of just having to wait months and months and months until an event is done. It's actually just it's really quick. It's just a couple weeks. And I really like that. I think that's pretty cool. But yeah, so spoilers for this issue. If you haven't read it, I will be spoiling things. I want to give a spoiler alert for that. So uh, yeah, anyways. Let's get into it. This issue is uh, written by Brian Michael Bendis. Like I said, he's writing this whole series, but the art is done by Ivan Reese, who's from like Blackest Night. As most of you guys will know, he's a great artist. He does a fantastic job on this. I love his Superman, and he's just his art is so good. And then the last two pages are done by Jason Fabok, and he does fantastic as well, but it's only the last two pages. I believe he's doing issue number two, I think. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of great artists that are going to be on this lineup. So anyways, let's talk about the issue itself. I personally really enjoyed the issue. It's nothing that special or groundbreaking or amazing. It's more of just a teasing what Rogals are. That's the name of the new villain. I hate the name, by the way. It's so bad. Rogals are. That is just that doesn't scream classic villain at all. But anyways, it's a it's sort of like showing some interesting stuff with him, and then the Superman stuff is more of familiarizing yourself with how Bendis' Superman is going to be and how he's going to act. But it's like, here's some interesting stuff with Ragal Zar, and then here's Superman just kind of doing everyday things just to show you how my Superman is and how Clark is and how he interacts with his family and be like, see, it's not that big of a change. It's very close to sort of the Tomasi and Gleason uh, Superman. But yeah, it just, it was fun. Uh, the, the issue starts off with uh, Ragal Zar addressing some sort of council that has a guardian and some other people on it, uh, one of the guardians from Green Lantern. And they're talking, and he's talking about how we need to rid the world of the Kryptonian plague. Like, we need to just get rid of them. They're bad. They're they're going to, like, go and destroy other people because they're based on science, and they're, to, like, re they're getting rid of their natural resources, and they're going to eventually wage war on other planets. It's not going to be good. We need to destroy the Kryptonians. And the rest of the, of the people in the council are like, yeah, we'll see about that. Then later on the issue, they get back to him. They're like, nah, the, everything will work out in the end. The Kryptonians will find their place in the new world, and they'll be fine. Everything is going to be all okay. So then we see that it looks like Ragolazar is going to be, you know, up to no good and try to get rid of the Kryptonians. And uh, we even saw this in DC Nation number zero where uh, he said that he was the reason the Kryptonians died. He was the one that caused them to go extinct. So I, when that happened, I wasn't a big fan of that in Destination number zero. I didn't think we needed a Krypton retcon, but I'm still willing to give Bendis a chance on this to see maybe he could work it into where it'd be cool, where it'd be like, oh, that makes sense. I like that retcon. I don't know. We'll see. But he was definitely the most interesting part of the issue. But Superman was definitely really fun. We see that uh, he stops like Killer Moth and Firefly for just having a scuffle in Metropolis. And I like their scuffle. I like how they're talking about like, why are you here? No one comes to Metropolis because everyone knows that Superman will take care of you in two seconds. That's why you go to Gotham where all the villains are just fine because Batman's okay at his job but not the best and so they're like don't go to metropolis uh, uh but he's like that's exactly why i came here because no one would expect me to be here but then superman captures him and drops him off then later we see that there's a fire started and apparently it's been a series of fighters and they're trying to figure out why superman saves the kid and then he talks to new police chief which is this one lady that's probably going to have a big part in the series considering how bendis introduced her i liked her and superman's back and forth it was good but i think that uh the way bendis introduced her definitely set up for she's going to be a main character in this series i don't know if she'll be a main character in his run i actually wouldn't doubt it that would that'd probably make sense she's get that this is setting her up to be a main character in his superman or action comics run i could definitely see that but uh we'll see uh, so far i like her character she was fine um and then we see some stuff at the end where it get well actually we see some da daily planet stuff that was all right and then we see some stuff at the end where Superman's there, he's, you know, he's with his family and everything, and then just something randomly shows up, and we don't know what it is, we don't know if it's Ragal's R or what's going on, but something randomly shows up, so that'll be, uh, interesting. I wonder if any of this will touch on the Mr. Oz stuff, 
considering we're gonna see like the destruction of Krypton, are we gonna see like Doctor Manhattan come and just be like, hey, 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 Jor-El, boop, I got you, because you know that's that's what happened during the whole uh, Mister Oz thing was Doctor Manhattan came and he took uh he took Jor-El out of Krypton before it exploded, so maybe we'll see something about that. I don't know, because that was explored a lot during uh, the Dan Jurgens Action Comics run, so that'll be interesting. But yeah, overall. I liked it. Again, it wasn't anything special, but it was fun, and it definitely wasn't, like, bad, because there were definitely some people that were, like, trying to spread horror stories about, oh, Ben is going to do absolutely awful. I've always been trying to stay optimistic. I've never been the biggest fan of Bendis. I loved his Daredevil stuff, but then there's some other stuff like Age of Ultron that's just not very good, but I always hoped he could do good, and I thought that DC is definitely renewing him, because he's been stuck with those same characters for, like, 20 years or 15 years over at Marvel, to where now he's got a whole new set of characters and interesting things he can do, and DC's letting him do, like, whatever he wants, so uh, I'm hoping that he's renewed now and he does good, but yeah, that's my thoughts on it. I liked it. wasn't anything great. It had some interesting things, but it's just overall fun issue, and I'm excited to see how, uh, like, what it picks up, up with at issue two, considering how issue one ended where it's just like you see Clark and his family staring at something Clark Lois and John are all staring at something that appeared we don't know what it is I wonder what that is that's definitely a good cliffhanger but yeah I want to hear you guys thoughts and down in the comments below hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys later